Uh, this is TV News Badge reporting from down in the industrial area of a small southern community. Let me get this out of the way. That, that really has nothing to do with our presentation at the present time. Today we're going to be looking at two microphones that might be of interest to you. They are, they are the Sennheiser shotguns, or short shotguns. The Sennheiser ME80 and the Sennheiser ME66. There's a bit of history behind the ME80, of course. It was the go-to mic in the, in the 60s and 70s and 80s uh, for on-camera use for news crews. And generally it was mounted on the camera itself and used primarily as a NAT sound mic uh, to pick up emergency interviews. It wasn't, wasn't necessarily the primary mic you used to get old interviews and, and whatnot. For that, you would have something like this Electra Voice uh, 635A, which is still in use today. Now, of course, the, I think most of you probably know this, the ME80 was discontinued due to uh, issues with its battery. Uh, it was contained mercury, which was a hazard to the environment. And it was replaced in the Sennheiser line by the ME66. Today we're going to try to determine though, with a very simple and quick quick test, is newer always better. Okay, now now let's just have a word about the setup, how we how we set these mics up. As as I noted, this was a, used primarily on the camera, which of course limited its its uh, effectiveness. I mean, primarily you're not going to get the best audio with a mic pointing horizontally and straight to the to the uh, victim's mouth, but that was that was the purpose of this mic, pretty this much. It wasn't to the go-to mic coop. for it's for sound and whatnot. For that, you had workers. a stick mic, a 635A. Of course, you had a lavalier in your kit uh, for the more exacting requirements. No, this was this was just a mic designed to get what we called NAT sound back then. Uh, I think there's another term for it today, but but uh, I don't know what it is. And it performed that job very well. Of course. Needless to say, the problems <laughs> that this, excuse me, this mic would have is it necessarily wouldn't isolate the, the voice as it would on a boom. You'd pick up everything back there, whatever noise and trash is back there. But for the most part, it did a very, very good job. And, 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 and many times it was the only option. So let's get down. Let's get down to the, uh, to the uh, demonstration. All right, now, now what we have here, we have the mic pretty much, oh, basically, oh, let me see, I'll move over there a little bit. I don't know uh, if it's gonna work or not. Uh, basically, this is, this is the configuration that, that we would be using. The, the mic here is, a, it's, we're using the ME80 right now. You're listening to the, let me back up a little bit, the ME80, and it's, it's used about, this is about the distance that, that, oh, we would be trying to pick up at least, at least voices. Uh, in the in the news venues now, let's just see how it sounds. How now, brown cow? The Emmy 80. How now, brown cow? One, two, three, four. A little silence so you can hear the the background noise, whatever it picks up. And once again. How now, brown cow on the ME80? How now, brown cow on the ME80? And uh, that concludes the test of the Sennheiser ME80 shotgun mic. Now, uh, you can tell from the from the noise on my uh, my uh, you can tell from the noise on, on my mic stand that the ME66 uh, right off the bat is a is a much more sensitive mic. Uh, at least to handling noise and, and background noise. The other problem I have with this mic, I couldn't, can't quite decide where to set the uh, the uh, gain. Uh, I've got it on 36 on the it's it, on the uh, ME80. I should have noted this. It was oh around 58 my uh, plus 58. Here is 36, and that gives me a nice healthy minus 12. But if I cut it back to uh, 28. I, I prefer it on 28. I think it, it, it sounds a little better, but it also isn't quite going inside. Let me be quiet and let me see if you can pick up this car. Okay, I'm going to leave the, the test of the ME60.
ME66. I keep looking away. I'm gonna leave the ta leave the uh, gain for the time being on no oh, 28. This is a test of the ME66. How now, brown cow? How now, a brown cow on the ME66? Now some silence, uh, silence. I hear a train. Let's see if we can pick that up. Uh, let me crank it up there a little bit. You can you can hear, and this is up at a. Uh, 36 dB, I think. You can hear the, the problems, the, the things we had to deal with uh, with these microphones. They, they don't necessarily just isolate on your voice like you would like it to. That's why uh, in this configuration, there are more NAT sound or NAT noise mics than, than uh, tools for capturing voice. Here, here comes a good test. I think a car is going to be passing by. Nope. Yep. He's sitting there. I'm just sitting there. I wonder what the hell I'm doing out here. Uh, there they go. And here comes a Volkswagen Beetle down the street, a little gray one. Uh, I think the guy gave me the finger. Now back to back to 36. Oh, I'm going to leave it up. I heard that train again. It's way on the other side of the river, by the way. You know, I don't know how directional this mic is. It seems to be picking up everything around here. Uh, there's some ducks I see flying over the, the flood wall over there. I may go over and capture some of them, some sound of them when I'm finished here, just for, for another little demonstration. Anyway, this is the end of the demonstration for the ME66. Let me, let me uh, repeat it one more time. How now, brown cow? How now, a brown cow? Okay, let me uh, let me uh, move this move this out of the way uh, uh, for a while. Oh, by the way, if you do much of this one band band stuff yourself, you'll find that something like this uh, something like this is invaluable. You see, well, actually, I didn't quite have it set right. You just set it up where you're going to be, and uh, and you're able to frame your shots a lot more effectively than just guessing or just using a plain light stand like like most of us do. Anyway, that concludes my test. Hold on, let me see if I can get them ducks. I, I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, anyway, that concludes my test of the of the ME80 and the ME66, the comparison of them, uh, as it were. Uh, conclusions? I don't know. I mean, that's up to you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I find that there is a lot of difference in them. The, the uh, ME... 80 is it's not as sensitive. You have to at least crank up the gain on your on your uh, preamp a lot more. Uh, sound quality, I won't know that till I get back to the to the studio. Uh, by the way, to close out uh, close out this piece, I'm using my uh, new on well my newly decided to go to my new go to, however you want to put it. Anyway, the mic I use on my camera now is uh, is uh, when I use an on camera mic is the is the uh, Sennheiser ME64 on the on the K6 power module? I found that this is this is really a, a superior mic for that purpose to the to the ME66. It doesn't quite reach as far, but it, it, I think it sounds better and uh, it is as clear as a bell when used on the camera and at a distance. Oh, from me to you, uh, you know, you can pick up voice very nicely and um, it, it's, it's usable. I've, I've used this in conjunction with the lav on the person and, the, and this mic on the camera and, and the audio. You, I could switch back and forth and, and you don't lose much with the on-camera mic. Of course, I don't recommend that. Nobody would recommend that, but it's good in an emergency and it's good as an all-around uh, audio tool, the ME64 Sennheiser. Uh, anyway, so that concludes, that concludes uh, my uh, uh, it's a redneck. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> uh, it's a little dangerous.
people walking around here all of a sudden, and they're all staring at me from across the uh, way there. There's a chain link fence behind us, so I, I guess I'm pretty safe here. But I, I want to get packed up and get out of here quick. I would like to go over and try to capture some of them ducks, but audio of the ducks, not the ducks themselves. Anyway, that, that's the, uh, that concludes my, my uh, test of the, our comparison of the ME80 and the ME66. And uh, I hope you found it useful. I'm TV News Badge, and I'm reporting. All right, let's just let's just pack it up and go home, Dorothy. Oh, some more ducks. <laughs>